Today marks the 25th anniversary of the Ipperwash crisis and the killing of Dudley George, the unarmed man from Stony Point community, part of the Kettle and Stony Point First Nation, was shot by Ontario Provincial Police during a standoff over land near Ipperwash Provincial Park. And as Ellen Morrow tells us, the trauma of that day is still felt by many in George's community. This is the road where Ontario Provincial Police marched down that terrible night 25 years ago on their way to confront a group of local Indigenous people who were trying to get their land back. The federal government had appropriated the land during World War II to be used as a military training camp, but it was supposed to give the land back and it never did. So after decades, the local community was tired of waiting for the government to keep that promise. Once the OPP advanced in the chaos that ensued, an OPP officer opened well, fire, over. killing a man named Dudley George, hitting him near the spot where I'm standing now. We spoke to Dudley George's sister, and 25 years after losing her brother, the trauma of that night is still raw. That was a great big trauma in my life, and it's led me to not be trustful of policemen. I can see them and just go right into a panic. The community reached a deal with the federal government for the return of the land five years ago. But before it can be fully handed over, the Department of National Defense has to clear it of live bombs left over from the land's military days, a process set to take more than 25 years. Chief Jason Henry says the pain of losing the land in the first place and of George's killing is still powerful. We've lost so much. We've lost language. We've lost culture. We've lost identity. And, and that is due to the loss of land. The more and more these things are uncovered, the more and more we face the truth of our past, then the more and more open people come to be able to move past that. So 25 years later, there's a mix of emotions here. Deep, deep sadness at a past filled with loss, unrelenting resilience and hope for a better future as society examines police brutality and systemic racism. A better future Dudley George's family says he gave his life for. Ellen Morrow, CBC News, Kettle and Stony Point, First Nation.